Once you've logged into Reports Plus for Ninox, you're going to come to this landing or welcome page. Let's take a tour of the different panels that make up the welcome page, and we see these panels here in the left-hand margin. Now, if you are an administrator, you will see all five of these panels. If you are not an administrator, you will not see the data sources or the admin view panel. Users will only see dashboards, reports, and the switch team panel. Let's take a quick tour of each of the panels so we understand what they do and how they're used. The data sources panel is where we connect our Reports Plus to all of our Ninox databases. And remember, Reports Plus can connect to any number of Ninox databases, each with any number of tables. We can go into any data source and look at it or modify it by simply clicking on the pencil or the edit icon. This will show us the schema or the data model for this particular connection. Now remember, when you connect to a database, you get to choose which tables from the database are going to show up in Reports Plus, and you also can choose which fields within the tables are going to show up. For example, if I wanted to hide the in-service date for the asset table from viewers using Reports Plus, I could simply click on the I and this would hide it. If I want to rename the asset ID to be the asset code field, because maybe that's a little more understandable, we could rename it here in Reports Plus. This would not make any change in Ninox. All the Ninox data would still flow into this field. We can just rename the field. As you can see, it's still the asset ID field. Reports Plus in this metadata layer simply has given it a new name. Once you've laid out all your tables, you can easily go in and preview all of the data in all of those tables. And as you can see here, you'll see all of your data here at the bottom in the preview screen, each and every field from all of the tables that you have requested be brought into Reports Plus. Moving on, let's take a look at the admin view table. We'll come back to dashboards and reports in a moment. The admin view table, this is where the administrator can set up teams and users. Now, just like we have different teams in Ninox, you can have different teams in Reports Plus. By linking your Reports Plus system to a team, you are making it possible for Reports Plus to see any database and any table that exists within that team. You can edit your connections, you can name your connections, and you can instantly see how many of your users are utilizing that data connection at any point in time. And speaking of users, once you've added a new team, you can go in and add new users by simply clicking on the Users button. This is where you control individual users' IDs, emails, passwords, and you indicate which teams they are able to access. You can edit their access by, again, clicking on the Edit or Pencil icon. And once their information comes up, you then can go in and indicate which teams and therefore which databases they're going to be able to see and access in their reporting and visualization system. You also have the option to define whether or not a particular user is going to be an administrator just for that team. Let's take a quick look at the switch team panel. Here, we can go in as a Reports Plus user and move between the different teams. If we're looking at all of the databases in the Jackson Asset Test team, and we want to go over and look at a different set of databases, maybe in the Lincoln Holding Company team, we can go ahead and switch teams, and this will instantly take us out of the previous team, move us into the new team, and make available all of the tables and all of the fields that exist in the new team into which we are switching. And then finally, there's the two most used panels, dashboards and reports. They both work pretty much the same way. You can create a new asset, in this case a new dashboard, by clicking Create New, naming it, and hitting the Save button. You can edit or view existing assets, in this case dashboards, that you've already created, 
And then for each individual asset, you can use the scheduling or subscription system to automate asset delivery. You can share via an HTML or URL link that particular asset. You can refresh the asset, edit it, or throw it away. These are all of the assets that you have created. They'll appear under the tag owned by me. If someone else has created assets and shared them with you, there'll be another tag that says shared with me and all of those shared assets will appear by name underneath that tag. The reports panel, pretty much the same thing. Create a new report by selecting create new, naming and saving the new asset. Here are all of the reports that you have already created in the past. You can edit them, schedule them, or throw them away. And if anyone has shared reports with you, the shared with me tag will appear at the very bottom and all of the shared assets will appear underneath that tag. The last panel is the one at the very bottom and that is the identification panel. Here it will show your current login name and email address and when you're done with your session, you can simply click log out and you'll return back to the security or login screen. That's the navigation panel in Reports Plus for Ninox.